Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to a new part of the complete NumPy tutorial and in this part we are going to see the random function of this NumPy library. So if you are new on this channel, you can like my videos and subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on the social media links given in the description box and without wasting more time, let's start with the main part. So first of all, using this NumPy, I am going to randomly print any integer right, or any float value. Right, so let's print it. So you, how you can print it? Just write np dot random dot random. Right, so I'm calling this class. I'm calling this library. So let's run it. So as you can see, randomly an array is printed in front of me. Array of integer, array of number. So if I run it again, if I run it again, if I run it again, I'm getting the different different randomly generated values. Right. So in the next step, I'm going to plot two numbers array so it is a single uh, element array now two elements i will i'm going to get in my array right so there also you can uh, run any any number of times and you are going to get randomly generated values so this is for increasing the number of elements now i'm uh, giving it a tuple of two by two so it is going to print a two dimensional array of randomly generated numbers so let's run it so as you can see a two dimensional array is printed and all the values uh, printed here are randomly generated now I'm going to, uh, you can also print a three dimensional array, you, uh, giving the three parameters in that tuple, right? Now using this rand int function, you are, you can print a randomly generated integer between this range, which you have defined. So I'm defining the range one to 10, so that I'm going to get an integer randomly generated between one to 10. So if you will run it again, you are going to get a different number, right? Now I'm going to get a two dimensional array uh, of all the numbers generated between 1 to 10 only, right? So here I have not defined the second parameter that is a tuple. Here I am defining. So here you are defining the size of the array uh, that you want to generate, right? So here all the numbers will be, will be between 1 to 10, right? So it is a 2D array. Now I am defining a 3D array. So here I have defined the three parameters in the tuple, right? So these are the rows, columns and this is the uh, three dimensional array and uh, all the numbers will be between 1 to 10. So let's run it. So as you can see, it is a three dimensional array and uh, all the numbers are randomly generated. If you can check by running it again and again, right? Now, np.random.rand, what does this mean? Uh, this mean? It is going to give me the float values, uh, right? Uh, and this is the size only, right? So let's run it, right? So it is also giving me a 2D array. So, it's a, so it is just similar to that uh, random function, right? But this rand end function, so this here comes the advantage of this rand function. By defining an end after this rand, you can uh, print the negatively generated values also, right? So as you can see, my negative values are also generated, but here only the positive values were generated, right? So this is the advantage of using the rand. Now in the next step, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm uh, uh, initializing an array between 1 to 10. So let me print it, right? So 1 to 10. Now this choice function is going to randomly generate, uh, randomly choose a number between 1 to 10 from this array only, right? So this is the choice function. So they are kind of similar functions only, but they are having some advantages and some disadvantages and you can uh, use them in different, different uh, places. So, but they are a kind of similar things only. I don't find any a unique thing between rand, random or choice, right? Okay, so I think this much is enough. So this might not be that much useful uh, in your data analysis, but you need to know the functions and libraries which are there uh, in the official documentation, right? So I think this much is enough. And until the next content, keep coding, keep innovating, and thanks a lot.